I figured I'd do another one of these vlogs about my study abroad experience. Well, I've been here in Amman, Jordan for two weeks now. Um, it's been pretty good. I like it. The first week we were here, I, I um, stayed at a hotel Monday and Tuesday, which it was like a five-star hotel. It was really nice. Um, we ate the nice hotel food. It was Arabic food, and it was good. Um, uh, I got to the airport and um, I had a CIEE guy drive me to our hotel and he, <laughs> the driving here is crazy. He was swerving around, he call it kissing the bumper here, they get up there and they get the front of their car and hit the back of the other car all the time, honking the whole way. Um, really interesting ride, a lot, lot different than in the States. There's really no rules on the road. They just go as fast as they want and swerve in and between other vehicles. It's really neat. I figured you have to be a good driver to drive here. Um, and then on um, Wednesday, I moved in with my um, family, my homestay family, which is where I'm at right now I'm in my, my homestay room. It's a nice little bedroom. I have a wardrobe and we live right there's our window. I overlook overlook the city of um, Amman. We're in a place called Jabal al Webda, and it's it's it means the mountain of Webda. It, we're up here above everything, so I have a view over the whole city. Really, really nice view. They say it's about the best you can get while you're here, so I'm happy about that. Um, what else? My family is great. <laughs> My mom, she, I call her Mama. She that's what she told me to call her. So she um, makes really good food. Everything has rice in it and meat, and it's really good. And she puts spinach and um, tomatoes and some other vegetables that I don't think we have in the States and um, all the food about. And I don't eat spinach or um, tomatoes back in the States, but I mean, if it's going to be in any meal, I've been eating it the whole time I've been here, and I really like it. It's good. Um, Lamb, lamb is good in the food. She makes cakes too that are really good. They're real friendly. She only speaks Arabic though, and my Arabic level is not very high, so we have a lot of um, miscommunications, but it's fun. It'll help me learn the language better. Um, to get to class, so this week, today is, um, what is today? Um, Thursday? Today is um, Thursday, so it's the last day of classes because Fridays are holy. It's Yom Juma, Juma, and it's their um, holy day, so nothing really is open on the Fridays here. But this first week of school is really hard. I've only taken two semesters of Arabic, um, beginning one, beginning two, so I should be an intermediate one, but I tested too high on my test, so I have to go to intermediate two. And the teacher speaks in Arabic most of the time, so it's hard to it's hard to understand. Um, but I'll get I'll get a hang of it. Today I started kind of understanding more what she's saying. I'm getting back in the role of things. But that class will be interesting. That'll be really hard. Um, I'm taking the. Um, colloquial Arabic, Amiya, which is what I actually, I don't really care about learning the modern standard Arabic too much, but it's the main thing. It's worth six credit hours. And the other three credit hour class I'm taking is the Amiya class, which is the colloquial Arabic that they speak here in Jordan, which is a lot different than the standard Arabic. Um, that's what I care about. It's a three hour class. It's going to be tough, but not near as hard as the modern standard Arabic. Let's see. Those two, and then I'm taking an Arab, or America and the Arabs class, which is really the history, politics, um, sociology of the Arabs over time. And then about, I don't know, about a fourth of the way in, he starts talking about how the Ameri how the um, United States of America has influenced and like has how they're um, related to the Middle East. Have they been in them? Um, yeah. 
That class is really interesting. We have a funny professor named Zuby Zuby. He's um he's good. He seems really smart. He's been in the UK a lot and in America, but he's Arab. He's a really educated man. He really interesting class. The first two classes we went over some neat stuff. Um really neat stuff. And then the other three hour class I'm taking is called Israel and the Palestines. Pal Palestine and Israel or something, conflict, Palestinian and Israeli conflict, which we haven't really had a class yet, we just went over the syllabus, but that's going to be a really interesting class, because that's, that's like the, that's a huge thing over here, the, that conflict between Israelis and Palestinians. Um, the university's big, they, um, the regular Jordanian students don't start till next week, so there hasn't been very many people there at all, like you don't see anyone, but there's going to be 42,000 there on campus next week, so it's going to be really crowded. I'm ready for that. About the university, I, we have to get books for the classes, and like one of them's The Iron Wall. It's a novel. Well, I went to the bookshop and asked them, and they're like, okay. They went back there and turned on the printer and printed it off. All the books in the store are just like binders of printed books. They don't, they just, they sell them for like $5. They don't have like copy, they don't go by copyright laws over here, which, you know, <laughs> it's good for me. So I got all my books for like $30, and there's one, two, three, four of them. So that was, that was pretty cheap. A lot of reading for the for them two area studies classes. Um, I don't know, I take a bus, I take, okay, what happens here, there's regular yellow taxis like in America you can take, but they're expensive. A ride to the university costs about three dinar, which is what, like four, four US dollars. Um, so I take, from my house, I can get a little white taxi that goes specific routes. I go to a place called Dewar Dekhli, which is where there's some bigger white buses, which I say Jama'a to them, and they take me to um, the University of Jordan, which that cost me 35 cents for the first and 35 cents for the second. So it's 70 cents, 70 kirsch. And 70 kirsch is like the cents for dinar. There's 100 kirsch in a dinar. Um, Tonight, I'm going to Rainbow Street for the first time. It's supposed to be the Americanized part of Amman. I mean, I'm not really looking forward to it, but, I mean, everyone who studies abroad has to go there. They say it's really neat. It's really lively and stuff, so I'll have to try it out once. I've made a deal with myself. I'm not going to be, I'm not going to eat any American food while I'm here. That way, when I get back, I'll eat a hamburger or steak or something, and it'll taste really good, but... The culture, the culture here is neat. Um, you just can eat their food. It's, it's great food, good spices, flavor, meat and rice. They have rice instead of like potatoes, but that's good. Um, um, oh, I don't know. Me and my um, friends I made here, I've made a lot. There's five Mizzou people going here. I'm friends with all of them, and then I made probably about ten more other friends here. And then a couple Arab friends, which is one of my goals. Um, we made a deal that we were only going to speak in Arabic two weeks from this Monday. So next week I have English, but then that next week only, um, only Arabic we're going to speak. That way we have to learn it better. Um, we can't really do that right now because we don't know enough, but we'll get there. I noticed my time's at nine minutes. Um, I've been talking a lot longer than I thought. But, um, oh, yeah, I'll say that I um, went to my family I'm staying with is Christian. Ten percent of people in Jordan are Christians, and I went to um, church with them, church with them last Sunday. It was really good. They only spoke in Arabic, but they had a little thing you can plug headphones into the wall. And it translates the stuff for you. You couldn't hear the worship because it was so loud, but um, you could hear the translation of the preacher. It was um, it was a good church. It was it was a lot like um, Pentecostal type church though, or Assembly of God. Um, well, I'm my time's up, so, Masalama, and Alamak.